As you all know, we have a, a bit of a spike in the cases in, in Tamworth at the moment, uh, and we actually had the uh, unenviable title of being the highest case rate in England. Now, that brings its own challenges, uh, and we need to try and get that case rate down. The best way to do that is by testing and by getting the vaccine when you can. Now, in the meantime, what I would like to do is say a big thank you to everybody who has contributed in the effort to keep that ca case rate down and to deal with the issues and the fallout since, uh, from, from COVID and, and, and having it. So we saw that spike in cases and a big thank you to everybody in Tamworth. Our, ca our testing rate doubled during that period so we could prove that people were taking this seriously and we're getting the tests. Our vaccination rate increased with people taking advantage of walk-ins. Uh, so, so people are getting hold of the vaccine and the vaccination rates in Tamworth are, 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 are pretty good to be honest. What we're seeing is, is attendance in the 90% uh, of each cohort. So people are getting vaccinated and it is offering uh, a, a level of, of protection. We're not seeing the hospitalizations that we saw in, in only February and March. So, so people are doing their thing uh, and it's really making a positive contribution. So a big thank you. And a big thank you to everybody that's getting the message out and helping other people out, whether they need to get a test, whether they need to get uh, a vaccine, or whether they're isolating and, and, and need support at, at home. Somebody uh, in my household brought COVID-19 in, they caught it, uh, I believe it was a workplace transmission. Uh, they brought it into the household, we immediately locked down for 10 days, uh, and during that period, uh, each one of us, uh, with the exception of two, uh, have, have been tested positive uh, for, for COVID-19. So that includes myself. Uh, you'll notice the background behind me isn't Marmion House, it's just a random wall in my house. Um, and, and the reason is I'm, I'm not only isolating because of contact with the case, uh, but I'm also isolating because uh, this last week I've not been 100% having uh, contracted COVID-19 myself, uh, testing positive on Monday. Uh, so, so I'm locked in uh, and, uh, uh, and I'm experiencing firsthand what many of you guys have experienced. Uh, big thank you to, to the few people that have uh, come and helped me out uh, and I'm sure other people have, uh, have done a damn sight more for, for many other people in the community. So big thank you for, for every effort that's being made uh, not only to deal with this spike in cases, but also to help those out who, who have COVID-19. The impact of me testing positive or, or even being isolated through a contact uh, isn't just isolated to me in Townsville Council. We've got uh, a number of members of staff off uh, and we've got uh, a number of councillors who have been forced to isolate because they're, they're in contact uh, with cases through their children or through their workplaces. So as a result, Cabinet met recently uh, with only two members instead of the full six. Uh, now whilst this is fine and, and decisions can be made, um, I personally don't think it's very good for openness and, and accountability and I think you, you guys deserve to see a full set uh, of cabinet members involved, especially when they're well enough to have attended the meeting but they're isolating because of the rules. Uh, so, it's, so it's a shame we, we couldn't do a hybrid meeting uh, or, or completely online. Uh, in terms of online, and live broadcasts our meetings. This is something I'm keen to do. Uh, I think you have the, you have the right uh, to, to view our meetings in public uh, and therefore you should have the ability to do so whether, whether you can get to the building or not. So, so I'm disappointed we're in that situation um, but it's, uh, it's just a knock-on effect from the pandemic.